Well, in preparation for Media Day, the great Steve Young sat down with BYU TV to talk about his thoughts on independence and what the expectations for the Cougars are in the Big 12. Right at the top of his thought process, uh, BYU should be proud of what they got done this last decade outside of a conference. Let's listen. We've hung in there. We've, you know, our greatest feat, acrobatic miracle feat, is that we've hung in there and uh, made a space to go beat uh, Nebraska and, and Texas. I mean, we've just, we've gone around the country and people, people fear us in that we don't know what, watch out for BYU. So in that way, uh, independence has been hard and nothing to like, you know, tell everyone, oh, that was, you know, that's the, that's the best place to be in the world. No, it's a hard place to be. And I give Tom, I give the whole athletic department and President Worthen, it's, it's hazard pay to be independent. And so where we, what we've come from before, from the last, in the last 30, 40 years, is that we're, we're more established, you know? Uh, and we hung in there in a really tough environment trying to bang the door down on a Power Five conference. And we just kept banging. And I think that's something to be very proud of. Well, and look, BYU should be very proud of the fact that through all the ups and downs over the decade plus, uh, as Steve said, they hung in there. They, they did what they needed to do to be ready when the opportunity presented itself. And BYU absolutely should feel proud of that. I like what he said. We're done with hazard pay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Steve went on to say early in the, uh, in the Big 12, expectations from sport to sport vary, but there's only one mentality that you're supposed to have going forward. You know that there are, there are, you know, some of the Olympic sports were going to be great. Volleyball, uh, soccer, we're going to be, we're going to be right in the mix. Uh, basketball, it's going to be fits and starts. Like we'll, we'll probably be middle of the pack, I would suspect. Uh, and football, I, I think that we have to think of ourselves as leaders in the Big 12. We have to, in our minds, that's who we are. And we have to recruit that way. We have to play that way. We have to coach that way. And obviously there's a lot of challenges right now with everyone with uh, name, image, and likeness. So we're gonna, it's the Wild West, but we need to, and football is, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lead the, pack, the Big 12. That's what we're gonna do. I'd kinda like to have him at quarterback. I wouldn't mind having him like have him back at quarterback. And I love the attitude, you have to no. go in. You can't tell me that the other three that are going in with BYU don't feel the same way. They should. Absolutely. All right, now for fans, how should fans feel? Here's more from Steve. We have the elements, coach, offensive coordinator, locked in, contracts, proven recruiters. Now with the Big 12 behind them, we don't get beat. Uh, we should be able to start to bring in uh, even uh, better recruits. And we have history on our side. We have a expectation of how we're gonna throw the ball. We're gonna throw it. We're gonna, that's who we are. We, we Everyone knows who we are. I think there's some, so something to that, like, what, who is BYU? We know BYU. We know their coach. We know what they're going to do. Um, and so I think that that comes into the Big 12 with a – there are going to be a lot of expectations. And I think we should, we should, we should uh, step into those shoes. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go win the Big 12, and that's how we're going to roll. Can we do something with that duck? Henri <laughs> <laughs> Duck. You know what we, should, what we should do is put the theme to Patton underneath uh, – uh, Quite the motivator, orders because it's like, yeah, let's 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 do that. What he said. Yeah. Well, look, and and Steve obviously, Steve is part of BYU's glory days, and so for him to be able to be a part of that part of BYU's history, and to see how excited he is and the expectations he has going in, should get everybody excited. Steve is not not only that he is the number one former Cougar athlete that there's no one that tops him in yeah, the world no, agreed. for credibility and enthusiasm and love. They all have it, but, but he's, he's up here and we're all down here. <laughs> and so it's fun to listen to him. You're like, yeah, let's do that. When Steve let's talks, go. you listen. Yeah. He speaks the truth. <laughs> he speaks it according to Steve. Yeah. Well, that's and true. We all read that. We're like, that must be how it is. That's right. All right.